Yo, what's going on guys? It feels so great to come back. Anyways, we're gonna get into this video and this video was supposed to be dedicated for week 8 or week 9 rather. Yeah, that's the finale of the Smog Tour. As you know, I did not do well in any of my 8 rounds. So this was actually just for you guys for the content and also just for my own practice. Unfortunately, I cannot show you it because I just went to Pokemon Showdown Replay and unfortunately it all got eliminated. So I didn't notice. Uh, I thought that it would be saved forever. But apparently if uh, the replay was set on private, which my opponent did, uh, it won't show up. Now I'm left with no content for you guys. But no worries, I'm just going to play regular Gen 8 OU because I have some great news. I signed up for World Cup Tour, my first one, man. But I don't know what that entails, but I'm going to read through it and hopefully uh, I can redeem myself with that. Uh, and you guys are excited to go on board with me. Uh, I'm going to practice with Gen 8 OU. I just want to give you guys a little backstory on that last match though because I felt like that was some great content. So basically, I had two tries. I had Friday, Saturday, or Sunday to play. Obviously, I didn't want to play Sunday yesterday because I want to celebrate Mother Day. So I played Friday and Saturday. And Friday, uh, believe it or not, I, that was my most embarrassing loss in my opinion because I had a good team, but my opponent wiped me out with Manopy. I mean, it wasn't really a bad loss per se because I, it was actually my fault. I made a mistake. So essentially what happened is he set up Tail Glow. And then uh, he also has Rain Dance, which means I can't paralyze him. Uh, and then he had two moves. He has Surf and Ice Beam. So I basically knew that he has Surf because he used Surf on Merge Steel. And then his other moveset, I was trying to figure out what it was. Was it Energy Ball or was it Ice Beam? So when I sent my Hydreigon, he knocked me out with Ice Beam. Surprisingly, he's faster. Um, I guess I didn't invest as much, but I was spec, so I was hoping to knock him out. So he reveals that he has Ice Beam. So at that point, all I had to do was send my Slowbro, knowing that he only has Ice Beam and Surf. I can definitely live one of them, even at plus two. And then I can set up my Trick Room, and then I can bring out my uh, Mammoth Swine and all my other threads, and that would have just basically knock out his entire team. But because for some reason I didn't think it through, I was playing it basically like I lost. And so I decided to send out my Mammoth Swine first. All of my mines until my last mine, I finally sent out my slow burn and then I realized oh he didn't have energy energy ball all along so that was one of my biggest mistake and uh big regret but I did redeem myself in on Saturday when I played again because um I used my B draw victory belt team and man I eliminated the first guy the second guy uh, it got really down to the wire like it was basically my it was basically my confirmable I had unaware he had a lot of setup mods he had like Volcarona with uh Quiver Dance and he had like Manipi with Tail Glow and basically Clefable was, was the MVP of that match and uh, I, since I had unaware, I basically couldn't get everything. But he still played well too, I mean he was able to knock down my Clefable and then he really pressured me but at the end, it was down to the crits and hacks that really got me because at the end, he, uh, his Volcarona did not have Bug Buzz and he only had, I think Fiery Dance, no no, he had Flamethrower, he had Giga Drain and he went for Giga Drain, he crit me, he got that extra recovery and the extra recovery actually mattered because he was so low in health that my, another Draco would definitely knock him out so I wish I could show you that match uh, for you guys who actually watch I, like, I don't know how many people watched yesterday but you know what I'm talking about anyways uh, yeah so that was that uh, it was fun nonetheless anyways, let's get straight to Gen 8 OU and uh, I have this new team Porygon team very very nice. It's also realized trick room, but um, then I have Malwak with the bone, uh, and he has flame charge, which is kind of surprising because you know trick room with flame. Basically, I'm planning to use flame charge at the end of the turn so I could boost my um, speed, and he's pretty bulky in my own opinion. I have Zoo Tree, uh, which has the voltage thing, uh, so I'm really hoping a lot of uh, my opponent will bring the. Uh, Tapu Coco that could utilize the terrain and then I have uh, threats, basically threats. So let's just see how we do. Uh, we're going to play a couple of matches. I'm under a new account, so I'm not expecting guys to be hard, but let me see my ranking. My ranking is pretty high actually. No, I'm pretty high. So look, 9 losses, 27 wins, 1408. Gen yeah, that's pretty high. Um, so it actually does a better account. Uh, so my opponent goes for probably Rotom as a lead or his Landorus. 
Very threatening, man. These are like 6th gen Pokemon. 7th gen Pokemon. So, uh, I'm expecting to leave a Volta maybe. Uh, or it's Landorus. And that doesn't matter because I do have Conqueror, which uh, does have Guts. So, if you want to do that, you could do that. I do have Ice Punch, so he should be scared. Um, I don't think he's going to go for Earthquake. I think he's going to go for Rocks. And believe it or not, Conqueror actually uh, takes care of everyone. So, he, he knocks off my lefties. <laughs> if I expect me to have Assault Vest, but I don't. And I'm just gonna keep bulking up because at this point uh, I'm looking real good, real swavy. As he goes into Volta, uh, I told you it ain't matter if you go for World Wars. But he goes for Volt Switch, really nice. Goes into back to Landorus. Uh, now I'm back to neutral. Uh, Drain Punch still does a lot. <laughs> Whew. Um, I'm gonna bulk up again as he do turns. Hopefully he doesn't go to something like Draco Poke. The Draco Poke does a lot with Draco Media, probably knock me out. He goes back to Voltan, perfect. And here I'm very tempted to go for Ice Punch. Uh, I'm gonna drink Punch again. Hopefully he doesn't go for Volt. Don't go for Volt. Oh man! He goes back to Landis. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna drink Punch. Just keep drink punching. Uh, I'm gonna drink Punch again. Expect him to go for U-turn. I don't think he's gonna go for Earthquake because I'm at plus three defense. So he might as well just U-turn again. And then uh, hopefully he doesn't go Drag Poke. Because I punch would have been nice. Yeah, damn, man. That was a bad play. So now he goes into this big threat. And I'm just going to go to Polygon. Um, I've been playing pretty bad with this. Uh, he's probably going to go for a Drake, big movie at Draco Meteor. As expected. Um, I don't think he's going to go for another Draco Meteor. So I'm just going to go try attack. Uh, basically risk it here. And go for... He's probably thinking I'm going to go for recover. Which I don't have. And look at all that defenses. Whoo! Go for try attack does big damage to uh my sharp. Look at that. That did way too much. I'm gonna just charge in case he wants to set up. He's I think he's faster than me. Yeah. So he knocks us, knocks me out. Knocks out my Valite. Cool, nice. Uh, I'm gonna go into uh Conqueror. I might expect him to expect me to go for Mag Punch, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, catch his Landorus with a ice punch to the face. Boom! One hunt, man! Get out of here, no stealth block, none, none, none of that, man. Uh, let's see what he does now. He's probably like shocked. <laughs> uh, he goes into kill him now, and kill him is a threat. Obviously, I don't have much I can do to kill him, so I'm just going to mag punch. I know Kankudu is really nice, but I have to see. Uh, yeah, so he goes for freeze dry, that doesn't tell me anything. Uh, I think Weavile. I think he's trying to catch my Weavile, wait. Nah, I'm gonna weave out, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna SD. Uh, if he locks himself into freeze, that's fine. If not, okay, he goes to the vote time. I went for SD. I should be able to um, knock him out unless he's scarf. Yeah, one hunt, man. That's what I'm talking about. One hunt with life orb. Get out of here. And then Sizer, I'm gonna knock off as well as he goes to bullet point. I should have expected that, of course. That was obvious. So I'm gonna go to Marowak. I wanna take advantage of this 100%. I'm gonna flame charge, uh, expecting him to um, bring in. His buy shop to sack or to even sack his uh, yeah to sack his uh, size even better because this is gonna be really one hunt and give him that speed boost. Now he wants to go for sucker punch. I think I could live that actually. So I'm gonna let him. Oh, he actually let him die. So plus two. I'm definitely faster than everyone. I'm at four forty. Oh, actually not. This guy is still fast. Darn man. Darn, this is not good. Hopefully I'm faster. Oh, he goes Shadow Ball, knocks me out. Darn, man. This isn't good. I want Zook Treat, though, because I do have a uh, Dazzling Gleam. And, uh, hopefully I'm faster. Yes, well, I am Scarf, so hopefully I can live this, please. Yes, I can live it. Yeah, so basically he lost because um, I'm Scarf, and then I just knock him out, and I get the boost, and then I'm pretty sure if he's not Scarf, I, I'm not, yeah. So, GG, man. This team's a beast. Look at Luke Tree doing work. Oh, man, he just left just like that, man. This was too easy. GG, too easy, man. Looking for another match, my guy, Buff Tapu Fini. Okay, so I'm expecting this Tapu Fini to be like a wall. You know, I'm expecting this guy to be beefy, nice and thick, man. So, uh, looking at my opponent team, very threatening, of course. Um, but, as you saw last game, I redeemed myself pretty well. So, I could redeem myself here again. 
I have to watch out for Crow Knight because Crow Knight is pretty threatening. Uh, well, I have Mao, I can have Porygon, so never mind that, and Lutri too, so not really that threatening. Uh, who can I bring in? He's probably going to go into his uh, Victini. Victini is a threat. I'm going to Geo Spot, yeah, just in case. Go spot as he goes into size. I'm just gonna spike here as he just go bug bite and emergency exit right away. That guy tells me he is definitely because I'm really bulky, so that tells me he's banned it for sure. I'm just going to protagonist, expecting him to bring in his uh, swamp, but hopefully, he doesn't miss. Does 52%. Whoo! He's 240, I'm 207. I'm pretty sure another one can knock him out. Yes, please get the high roll. Oh, he flips turn. Damn. I just don't give him an opportunity to do it. Uh, I don't think Bullet Punch will kill me. Why would Bullet Punch kill me? No, it, it won't kill me. Even Bandit. No, you probably will. You got Technician and all that. Mm. Nah, I have to keep him. He'll be great. He'll be a great man. I'm going to um, go to the spot. Unless he expected me to uh, bait into Heatran. But why would he do that? I don't get it. I'm fi I'm fire, so I mean, yeah, he's definitely bandit. Bandit would definitely knock me out. Then we'll go gold spot, expecting to with that bullet punch. Yeah, so it does 19%, which means I can at least do some damage on him. I go, he goes in crop night as I just set up a layer of spikes. Yum yum! And then here, uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna push him by going to Zoot Tree. And uh, as he goes to the defog, and this guy is about to be knocked out. I'm going to go in Dazzle Gleam just in case he goes in Swampy, yeah. Yeah, because that guy is still a threat. So I get the beast boost. Oof. So now he has to think. He goes into Victini here, which is a threat, of course. But I'm going to sack my ghost spot. He did his part. Go blue f blue flare. Knocks me out. No. <laughs> alright, so he goes to blue flare. Uh, uh, don't talk about my mom like that, alright? Alright? So blue flare. I'm going to pull Gun Z. Uh, I'm just going to ditch this charge here. I know it's plus one attack. Oh, so he goes to a U-turn, so he tells me he's not Scarf or nothing like that. So he goes into heat uh, he thinks he can take this discharge. Nope, hopefully get paralyzed. No, he doesn't. He's lucky. Uh, lucky go lucky. I'm going to go into um, Concordia to scare him off as he just Magma Swarm. That's 48%. Ridiculous. Damn, this is not good. Uh, hopefully I can live it and just go for a Mag Punch. Or ho hopefully he miss. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, so he doesn't go for another one. He's scared. So I'm going for Drain Punch. Unfortunately, he has that. I'm going to Drain Punch again, just in case he goes U turn. Yeah, he goes U turn. He might go in top of Fini, which makes sense. Uh, even though I could potentially carry Thunder Punch, and he would have been scared. I'm going to go Zoop Tree here, just to scare him off. Because, um, yeah, he goes to Drain uh, Drain Kiss, ain't doing nothing. And here I'm just going to vote. Um, this is actually very threatening, believe it or not. If I had Thunderbolt. It would have done so much to all his minds, and then with beep spoos, it would just been over, man. You go to heat trans, vote switch, boom, 33%. That's fairly decent chunk. I'm going to weave out here, as um, I don't know if he's scarf. So he he's lefty, so I don't think he thinks that um he can live this. Yeah, he did, he doesn't know that I have low kick. Just knock him out, man. That guy was a threat. He goes into sizer, and unfortunately, I'm gonna have to sack someone. So, I'm going to have to second my walk. He did his job. Uh, Bullet Punch. Yeah, that would have killed me anyway. So, so he's locking himself into my walk basically. I'm going to go into Zook Tree here. I'm going to vote again. Uh, if he's smart, he'll go for a Bullet Punch, honestly. Uh, because, vote would definitely not kill him. Two Bullet Punch would definitely kill me. Yeah, so he, okay, good good for him. So, I'll go for vote again. That's 57%. Woo! I'm going to go into um, Boy Guy. Uh, I can definitely go for Discharge. Oh yeah, this is plus special attack. So Discharge is definitely the way to go. He's playing on Victini, yeah. But I really want this guy paralyzed. Uh, yes, I get that. Perfect. So, uh, here, what do I do? I'm just going to call Try Attack. Should do a lot. He goes for Blue Flare, does absolutely nothing. I know he's not Bandit. So, boom! Try Attack, knock him out, man. Get out of here. He's going to play going back to Sizer. Again, poor guy. It's a threat, so I have to save him. So he goes in top of Fini, which I'm not sure why, to be honest. Because I just go for Discharge. Oh, but he goes to Calm Mind. So this guy is bulky, but very nice. But anyways, I'm going to keep going for Discharge because Discharge is doing so much. And there's going to be a point where 
if I'm being honest, he's going to wait. No, the thing I have to watch out for is Sizer. Watch out for Sizer. Because Sizer could just bullet punch and knock everyone out. My Zuchu will be done. My Conqueror will probably be done. And then, and then since I don't have recover on Porygon, it's my only way of winning. Probably gonna drain the case. I, I'm going to sack my uh, Conqueror. Oh, darn, that was a bad move. I think I'm gonna have to sack my Weavile actually. Yeah, I'm gonna have to sack my Weavile because. Uh, so I'm gonna do rising voltage even though it doesn't make sense. They both do the same amount. Do rising voltage. It doesn't even do anything. So he's able to drain kiss and uh, yeah, that, that that's GG. Unfortunately, um, go come out again and once again. Uh, what's this charge and uh, and then try attack. He's only a plus three. There's some no, there's no point. Um, discharge again. Uh, the only way is hacks, but then he's getting draining kiss. Yeah, draining. Uh, yeah, and then basically taunts again. <laughs> Thinking I have recover. I don't. Um, and then I wish I had thunder punch here. So maybe something that I could change up would be like a thunder punch. So yeah, I'm just gonna say GG to him. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, you definitely live, live up to your name for sure. Uh, Tapu, uh, Tapu Fini, bulky. Right? I think that's the name. But anyways. Thank you guys so much again for watching and stay until the end if you did. Uh, you already know what to do. Hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I post new vids. Also, please leave a suggestion down below in the comment section to let me know what other videos you love to see. I love to interact with you guys, man. And um, I, I did link all of my social media, so I will anticipate to be more active on those platforms. So uh, if you guys have Instagram, Discord, Twitch, anything, uh, make sure to uh, leave in the comment section below and I'll add you. No problem, man. I'm really excited for the next tournament. Uh, it will be World Tour, first time in a really long time. So uh, I can't, I cannot believe for like 10 years I have not participated in tournaments, seriously. So uh, yeah, I'm getting older, but uh, at least it's better late than never. So thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.